Hello, and welcome to How to Simplify Radicals. So the whole goal of simplifying radicals is to break the number out into a perfect square times something else. And more specifically, you want the largest perfect square. So we need to think of, for the first example, what perfect square times something else gives me 20. Now, if you ever have trouble with finding your perfect squares, you can make a list of it on your own. All you're going to do is write 1 through 10, and then you're going to take your calculator and square all of those numbers. So what we're looking for is all of these blue numbers. What's the largest blue number, the largest perfect square, that goes into 20? And if you see, the largest perfect square that goes into 20 is 4. So we're going to rewrite this as the square root of 4 times what gives me 20? 5. And it's important that you put the radical over both of them. Now, you can take the square root of 4, right? It's 2. And when you take the square root, the radical goes away. We can't take the square root of 5, so we're just going to leave it. So the square root of 20 simplifies to 2 radical 5. For example 2, you're going to do the same thing. What's the largest perfect square that goes into 80? So you might think that the largest perfect square that goes into 80 is 4, because you have 4 times 20. But we just saw that 20, or rather, rather the square root of 20, can be simplified. So 4 is not the largest perfect square. And if you use this, you're just going to have to simplify radical 20 again. So instead, let's erase this, and let's go back to the drawing board. What's the largest perfect square that goes into 80? That's going to be 16. And then 16 times 5. We're just going to bring down the 3. And now, we can take the square root of 16, which is going to be 4. Can't take the square root of 5. You do need to multiply your two coefficients now. So 3 times 4 will give me 12. Radical 5 is the simplified version of 3 radical 8. Okay, one more. For the next one, please do not do this. The reason you can do that is that the 2 is outside of the radical. The square root is only in the numerator. And you can't take what's outside of a radical and divide into the radical. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to think, what does the square root of 200 break up into? The largest perfect square that goes into 100, into 200 is 100 times 2 over Two, because we have to keep the denominator. The square root of 110. We can't take the square root of 2, so we're going to leave it and rewrite my denominator. Now, I told you, we can't divide into the radical. So we can't say that this is going to give me radical 1 or something. Instead, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to divide the coefficients. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then we just write the radical 2. I hope this helps.